now I want to talk to you about what POI stands for on a Garmin GPS, or any GPS for that matter. POI stands for points of interest. That can include restaurants, gas stations, entertainment places, basically anything can be a point of interest, any type of point, a lake spot, a favorite spot. You can actually save your own points of interest on a GPS as well when you're, in a, when you're at your current location. First, I'm gonna show you how to access the points of interest. First of all, go to where to, and you can see it has a, just a few pre-saved points of interest. This is actually like a little dashboard here, and you can actually add shortcuts, sort of like on a computer, but your categories are up here. Of course, this interface may be a little bit different depending on your Garmin model. This is a Garmin Newbie 2595 LMT, just for those of you who are using the same model, which I love this model. But you can see it has a bunch of different POIs, or points of interest, restaurants, shopping, everyday life, gas stations, and as you scroll down, banks, ATMs, parking, rest areas, and so on. You can take some time and scroll down through all of these if you wish. To simply to use them, simply click on one of them. Shopping, for example. Now over here, it'll kind of show you like a you know like a little quick search here. Kroger, Walmart, Staples. Those are all the 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 most popular stores that we're located to at this moment. So let's say we want to go to Walmart. We go ahead and click on Walmart. It'll give us some options of the nearest WalMarts to our current location. Then you can click on one of these. Click go and it'll automatically calculate your route from your current location, which we're in Louisville, Texas, and take you to the nearest Walmart, or at least the one that you chose. Now, in order to save your own POI or point of interest, let's say we're here and we're, we've got this gorgeous kind of lake view, and we want to save this point of interest to make sure we can get back to it later. You're going to go ahead and tap on your car, highlight your car or whichever icon you've chosen, and it's going to give you coordinates, which I'll show you where to enter that in a second. It's going to give you a little an intersection, so that you can keep tabs on this and what you can do is save it. You can save this and, and then it'll let you label it here. You can enter a name and you can save that to your favorites. Um, and that's also the same way of how you add on the desktop, how you add a shortcut. But see where it gives you the, uh, the coordinates and it gives you intersections. If you go back here to your main menu, go to where to, and now go to, uh, like let's say you want categories, okay? Scroll down to the very bottom and it'll say search tools. You can search by intersections, you can search by coordinates. So let's say you've saved it and you have those coordinates. Well, if you've saved it, it's easy. You just click on it, it'll automatically calculate. But let's say you've, for some reason, have written down those coordinates. You can go ahead and click on coordinates and enter those coordinates. It'll find that location for you. You click go, it'll create a route, and you head there. Mm -hmm.